Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Burdett, and I would like to talk to you about the Precision 88 and how to interpret the IgE test results. So for many of us, uh, when, when we think about IgE testing, we tend to think about it in isolation because standard of care uh, does not um, recognize the use of panels. What the way that they suggest that IgE is utilized is if somebody has a reaction to validate that reaction they had. So let's say I ate a strawberry, my lips uh, were to swell, and I go in and I talk to my clinician and say, I ate a strawberry, I, my lips began to swell. They say, what was different? I ate a strawberry. Then they're going to run one test to confirm that reaction to strawberry and typically not dive deeper than that. It turns out when we do dive deeper, you're likely to uncover IgE reactions that the patient was not even aware of. How could that be true? Well, the first reason is that our test is extremely sensitive. So it will pick up low levels of IgA antibodies that other tests might miss. And so when you're looking at these results, you want to think about the high results as the ones where you would assume someone would have an overt immediate reaction. However, other things can modulate that. So for example, if somebody had a high or moderate reaction, but yet they were making more IgG4, again, this blunts that IgE response and we still would not expect to see an overt reaction. So a high level without IgG4, without enough IgG4 to block IgE, that is when we would expect an immediate overt reaction. Moderates and lows are typically not enough antibody to trigger that immediate reaction. So why do we report them? Well, when you start to see many things coming back in a moderate or a low level, it lets you know that there's an upregulation in terms of production of IgE. There's an increase in that Th2 response or that atopic branch of the immune system. So when we see this elevated, we may not take out every single food from the person's diet, but we would say overall, you're becoming overly reactive here and we wanna do things to tap down that branch of the immune system. These would be things like like omega-3 fatty acids um, or uh, a healthy microbiome supported by probiotics. Why? Because both those things increase interleukin-10 that cause this branch of the immune system to go down. So while we not expect an overt reaction, it does tell us about which way the immune system is leaning and gives us a way to intervene, hopefully before there are um, more autoimmune reactions or too much of a Th2 dominant type of response response. Then the question is, if they are Ig reactive, and particularly a high antibody that has no IgG4, uh, but yet they've never noticed a reaction, what should I do with this? Well, in general, I would still pull those out of the diet. I would work on things like leaky gut. I would do things to improve the immune system. And if they never had an overt symptom in the past, then as you felt the gut was healed, as you felt the immune system was primed, uh, I would feel very comfortable reintroducing those foods, maybe in a clinical setting. So you have an EpiPen available or even Benadryl available. Um, but but uh, if they've never had a symptom before, yeah, reintroduction absolutely does make sense. And after a period of time, when you feel the immune system is better, or they look better upon retesting, adding those things back in. If they had had an anaphylactic or a known reaction to it in the past, you can still consider reintroduction. However, I'd want to see that the antibody was lower. Depending on the severity of the reaction, I might confirm with a skin test to make sure because we have slightly different immune reactions in the serum than the skin. So looking at both can sometimes be useful. And if they'd had a reaction in the past, for sure doing it under clinical supervision uh, with an EpiPen available when that reintroduction does occur. So our IgE results are quite sensitive. It's the highs without IgG4 that you're most worried about, and the moderates to lows let you know of a TH2 response and direct you to things that you might do to help bring down that branch of the immune system. Thank you for tuning in.